Hello everybody, it's me again. Um, this is the last video we're going to do uh, related to the sign up process. Now, in completing this exercise, I found a, a bug in the program, so we need to fix this. And I'll show you where the bug is. So, if you run the application that we we were working on earlier, in the last video we did this part where you enter some values and a number here, and you click on join, it goes to the server and give you a code back, right? The problem is that this is, you see this, this is optional. And when we're comparing the code, because it's an optional variable, and then the, the, with the string value that is being entered, it was not working, okay? So what we need to do is that we need to take care of this optional variable. And the way we do it is that you go back to the view controller that you, uh, that you worked with, if you're working with me. So open the view controller. And in the view controller, here there is that part where it talks about converting the data that we receive back into a string and then converting it to a string and assign it to us. Okay. Well, that was the problem. This gives you an optional variable, okay, an optional value. So it's either nil or an actually uh, a string depending on the conversion, if it was able to convert it to the proper coding or not. So how are we going to solve this? Well, instead of doing this directly, we're gonna do it in two steps. First, we wanna add, so this is the else, if we're gonna do everything between this else. So if you look at this else here, uh, and if you click on this, this is the, this is, we have an F here, and an end of F and an else, right? So I'm going to do is that I'm gonna add a few lines between this else and the end of that else statement. So we're going to add an if condition here. And the way we're going to do it, we say we're going to say assign if let if let t equal to this value now. Okay. And this would be either nil or not nil. If it is not nil, we're going to do the following. Okay. And then I added a bracket here after the F, okay, and closing bracket after that else, all right? And then we gonna, what else we need to do? We're gonna shift everything inward to indent everything so it would look like actual if statement, okay? And then we have to do one more thing here, all right? That is it for now. And just put this inside. Okay. Now, if this was correct, if this was okay, then what we need to do is just simply now convert T and assign it to S. Okay, so we say T equal to S. Uh, we, we cast T into a string and assign it to S. Now this would work, okay? So if it is not, and this should be, if it is not equal to minus one, we do the following, all right? So this would work. All right, that is this part. Now, if we run it again, let me show you now what happens. Oh, before we do this, one more thing you need to do. Do you see this? Let view controller. It's better that we put it in the dispatch, uh, um, Async a queue, okay, because so just to avoid problem with timing. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna cut it from here and add it to here. All right. So just the same line I put it in the uh, async uh, task. All right. So now if we run it and then I enter some values here and and join, notice, now it's not optional anymore, all right? So that is that part. Now, the next part we're going to do, if you open that view confirm code uh, view controller class, and I've done the work already, and I'll, I'll follow the same example, same um, uh, way of explaining it like previously, because again, if we type it online, it will take forever, so I'll, 
I'll, I'll do it slowly so you understand what we've done. In the view controller class, we have that button, the action button, which is if you look at the storyboard, if you look at the main storyboard, you have this button that the you confirm, right? When you write, when you click on this, so this is tied to that confirm code uh, function, okay, or check code function. So if I go to the view controller, and there is this check code function. In this, what I do first, we get the data, user information that is stored in the uh, in the data store, right? So I get that user information. Now, after I get the user information, I compare the value that is stored, the user token that is stored in the user information with the text code. If it is equal, just to make it simply, I created a function called, uh, to make it easy, I created a function called user, save user information. All right, and this save user information does two things. If we take a look at it, first, it does the same thing that we've done before, which is, uh, I don't need this, okay. It, it got the user information again from the, uh, we have it here, okay. I got the user information again from the, the data store. We could have created a, a variable uh, and then just assign them uh, as we load the view controller. He could have done that. I'm calling a different server. <laughs> I'm calling a different server here for some, okay, just to, because I have some problem with the other server. So we calling, uh, I'm creating the URL, creating the keys for the URL. And here I'm doing a post method for security. Same thing we've done before. Uh, here we do the data task. Again, the same thing, all right? And finally, here's what we do. If we, in this, page, what we're doing, actually, we're calling a method to insert the records in the database so we know this person is registered also on the server. So this page here, which is does this, which says post simple, okay, post sign up, post simple. What this does, it takes this user information, user phone, user name, and then the user token, and insert them in the database. Now, since they are in the database, that I got a record of that person on our server, okay? Uh, so here, when we get the result back, if there was, if we got, if it was not, if it's 200 basically, and there's no error, we go to this section here, which is very similar to what we've done before. We say, if the user, if the again here, I because of that error, I cast the data into result. If the result is okay, I'm comparing it because now it is a string and I'm comparing two string. If it is okay, then I this part here will write the user information to the archive uh, or to the device itself. So it says NS key archiver, archive root object. What are we writing? We are writing that user information to the file that is with the path that is stored in that user data. If you remember, we had this, uh, this uh, user data, we define a variable called the user data directory and then the file URL. So I am I'm writing to this file, all right? So let's go back to that confirm view controller. So that's, if it was okay on the server, I write it to the device, okay, I, want to display a message that everything is okay. I'll explain this method in a minute. I have a function that display a message that has an alert view instead of creating it every time. And then I get the view controller and I dispatch the view controller, the main view controller to the screen, okay? And this is that function that I told you about, which is the uh, display message. So I just, the title and the message that I want to display. It's again, it's an alert view. So this, all it does, it's, every time I invoke it, it display an alert view. All right, that is it, okay? 
this, I, I kind of went through quickly through this because it's really the same thing that we've done before. So I don't need to explain it again. Okay, all what we're doing is that we're posting a new request to the server with this new uh, URL and these are the keys. Okay, um, if the only thing that is different here, if it is okay, then what are we doing? We are actually, uh, sorry, we are writing the data to the file on the device itself. All right. And we have a function called display message, and this message is just simply uh, display an alert message. So now if I run it, see what's going to happen. So if I type in some weird number here, because I don't want to make sure I don't have a duplicate, that has to be 10 digit, and I type in any name, okay, and I've hit okay, join. I got a code, 9545. So if I type in 9545 and I click on done, successful, you are good to go. Okay, so we hit okay. I start the app. Now watch what happens. If I run it again, it went directly to this view controller. So this is, would be my main screen. It didn't go through the sign-up process. Why it did not go through the sign-up process? I'll show you why. If you go to the app delegate, you will have, remember that piece that we said, get me the file to see if it is stored in the data, if I have a file stored on the device or not. Well, it is stored. Because it is stored now, it skips this piece and it goes to the sign up view controller. Uh, it, it skips, sorry, it, because we found it, it goes to the main view controller and does not do the sign up process. To show you this again, if you go back to the device and do reset device, if you do reset content setting, reset. Now, I erased everything on this device. Now, if I go back and run it again, If we run it again, what will happen now, as if I am, I don't have, I don't have the file stored on the, dev, on the device anymore, so it will take me through the sign up process again, all right? Notice, all right? So again, if you do this again, any number, and then you type in joint, you got a code, 8570, 8570, then you click on done. Congratulations, you're okay. Now, in okay, case, stop it, run it again. You skip that sign up process. All right, I hope you found this useful. Uh, the reason I didn't type all the code, because of the amount of work it will take, it will take quite a bit of time to type all this type of information. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to post some of this on the uh, the uh, on the server so on youtube so you can actually look at the code on youtube or you can download it from there okay i'll see you in the next series of videos and good luck